incredibly, their, their defence, Fremantle, averages 16 points a game against for an entire game this season. Carlton put 22 on them in a quarter. It makes it hard when the inside 50 count is 16 to 2. Let's see how the Dockers respond here. Second turn from Icon Park. Moody over the top. Gets it down to McAvoy. She's wrapped up. Umpire will penalise. The first possession's been important from the clearances today for Carlton. It's been 6-1. First hands on the football today for them around the stoppages and just preventing Frio. The likes of Hayley Miller, who has the ball now, from getting out of that congestion. Over the head of Moody to the dangerous Duffy. Lalawifi puts her under some pressure. Bowers slides in. Farms it out. Harrington now with the same task. Bowers will hunt it again. Miller gets there first, flips it over the top. Haynes clipped high by McKay, then plays on. Runs to 55. Pound will track back. Can she get there? Awkward bounce. Real chance for the Dockers here. Antonio tries to flip it to O'Sullivan. Couldn't quite get purchase on the kick. Still in trouble, the Blues. Lalawifi. Good pressure, Frio. Sock it off the deck just across the face of goal. Good start. Minus score there from Roxy Roo. Great start from Frio. Their turn to ratchet up the pressure here. No breeze to speak on. All the play's been at that left end of the ground so far in this match. Kane, Haynes, spirals at inside 50. Pushing the back against Cara Antonio. She seems a bit surprised, Antonio, by that free kick. But um, there were a clear two hands that went into... Oh, yeah. One in the back, one in the side there. I think uh, Pan may have just collected the knee of the Frio player on the way down, which is why she was a touch slow to get up. Harrington has it. Six touch. Short to Brazali. Good to see Harrington into the game early too. Carlton got a good spread of, of players contributing so far to the game. Now Vessio, the Blues just retaining possession here. Taking the speed off the game, which is exactly what they want it to be a slower, more methodical contest because Frio have the pace advantage and they're going to get a free kick here for a lingering tackle. It's going to go to Hayley Miller. Going to get involved here for Fremantle. One of their prime movers goes to another. Great strong mark from Bowers. A little bit sore to get up, just cradling that shoulder and wrist a little bit. Bowers spears it low. What a ball! Hits O'Sullivan, lace out, 60 from goal. O'Sullivan goes for distance. She gets it over the head of Harrington. It's tracking back to the line. This might be the scoring end for some reason, Jase. Could be one of those days, no. Beck. No wind, no real logic behind it. But so far, it's all been at this end of the ground. Rue versus Moody. Bowers taken down by Presparkas tackle and rewarded. Presparkas eighth touch coming up. Bowers has had five. Docker's setting up a heavy zone here. This is Abby McKay. She'll take the percentage kick long down the line. Off the hands of the contest, Ebony Antonio collected high. She'll go back and take her free kick. The Ducks have set up that zone really well to cut, cut that speed that Carlton were running the ball with through the handball. Antonio to the lead of Houghton. Came thundering out. Here's the dangerous Bowers from the pocket. Not enough distance on the kick, and it bounces off Cara Antonio's chest. There's Gab Pound. Cara Antonio playing a role inside 50 as the forward general this year. On from midfield to forward and really adding some IQ to all the natural athletes that are down in that Freo forward line. Trent Cooper delighted with the role she's playing. Miller at the back. Goes with the left boot. Lalawifi a difficult half volley. Tried to get it to Pound, taken by O'Sullivan, and Pound immediately wraps her up. So an opportunity for the Dockers here, 15 metres out from their goal. Can they get something started? They can pile on goals in a hurry. Presparkas will get there first, but she's got Bowers for company once again. 
Lalawifi tried to get it to McKay. Ball in under that scrim scrimmage. Moody against Rue, who tries to jump over the top. Lalawifi, not a lot of space to work in, just clips her toes. Gets it to Prazali. She won't be able to get away from Kane. Empire said no prior opportunity. Moody the tap, but Bowers again gets first touch. Tries to get it to Cara Antonio. Back to Bowers. Can she get the Dockers on the board? And this is left. Some of Fremantle's senior leaders now trying to lift this team, get them back in the contest. Harrington links up with Pound. Needs to be precise with the kick. Awkward one for Hosking. She's going to run into some trouble. The Blues under pressure here. Moody, Harrington, Presparkus. Lingering tackle, Carlton free kick. So a couple of anxious moments there for the Blues defence. Ball will come back. Karen Harrington. Real calm head in the back half for the Blues. Brazali wants to get it and go. Stevens is the target. One out with O'Driscoll. So good overhead. Great mark, Emma O'Driscoll. And that'll be 50. Exactly what the Dockers are looking for. Get it right down into their forward zone once again and just keep this pressure on the Blues defence. So an encroachment free kick. We'll bring Emero Driscoll right to the 50. So it's Stevens, was it? He jumped the mark there. So from 55 out, she wastes no time. Houghton goes up. Lalawifi over the top to spoil. The dangerous Duffy to O'Sullivan. Smothered off her boot. Duffy goes again. No space to work in there. Big smother there from Moore Lalawifi. Houghton's tapped down to Bowers. Swings it to the corridor and Kane. So Steph Kane just hanging off the back of the contest. It was well set up. No Carlton play went anywhere near her. Carlton defenders just having a word about that to each other as well. She's kicked four behinds this season, Steph Kane. For her first of the year from 35 out. Timely goal and the Dockers are on the board. Bit of persistence there from Frio's attack. Just keep chipping away, chipping away at it. Just a defensive lap there from the blue laps there from the blues and Kane wide open. And she makes them pay. So the Dockers responding so far in the second term. Now it's on Carlton to try and halt that momentum. Fremantle starting to get their hands on the ball. Brazali. McKay run down from behind. And they take the advantage again. Fremantle move it quickly. Stewart goes inside 50. Harrington does enough to, on Houghton to get it to ground. Egan, Harrington, awkward one for Brazali. Loins at the back, takes it to the line. I like this mentality of, of playing on at all costs where you can. It's rushed, but it's not a panicked way of playing football. And it's obviously something that Freo have have been instructed to do. We'll play on at all costs where we can on these free kicks. And now it's the Carlton defence just starting to feel the pressure a little. Lalawifi. What a great kick. Under pressure taken by Bowers. Ebony Antonio long and high towards Houghton. Wilson got a fist in. Harrington again needs to be quick. Dragged down off her kick and it's marked by Miller. Suddenly it's Carlton who are anchored in their own defensive 50. Miller's floating kick could be a dangerous one. Wilson, Houghton, Stewart. Good looking snap from Jasmine. Stewart is another one. Jasmine Stewart gets her first goal of the season. And the Dockers go back-to-back -back goals. And they are right back in this contest after a flat opening term. 
Starting to get the game back on their terms in this second quarter. And maybe the Carlton defenders thought that Stewart wasn't in a really dangerous position just sitting on the outside there. But she was in a perfect A2, an attack position there to be able to receive that handball and curl it through the goal. It's a great goal. Stats have completely flipped. Dockers dominating, ground ball gets their key performance indicator. And now the dominating inside 50s in this term, 9 nothing. Can the Blues get some time in possession here? They need it as Loins delivers to Stevens. At that time in the forward half this quarter. Prasparkas goes towards Vessio, takes front spot, was held. So Ooh, Darcy, lucky, lucky not to give away a 50 there. Can Darcy Vessio go back and just steady things down for the Blues here? out gives it a ride and just misses really punched through that kick I think the easy shots for Darcy are on the boundary these days the ones closer in front are more difficult again a quick play on from the Dockers they really want to move it and put some speed on the game we said that's their strength as Seth goes down the line strong clever knew the contact was coming from Gibbs handball to herself Miscommunication between O'Sullivan and Greaves. Strom went down, got it out to Sharp. Kept it moving for Fremantle. Lalawifi plants the feet, stands underneath it. Takes the mark. And that could almost be 50. And Pye says, no, you dropped it. I'm not sure how that wasn't 50. Lalawifi towards McAvoy. Read the kick nicely off the boot. Was looking inboard. She's got Hosking standing in the middle of the ground. It'd be a very bold kick. So she goes down the line for Harris. It'll spill in the plane direction. Harris. Looked like she'd taken it out. Umpire said play on. McAvoy versus Kane. Important ball to win here because there's space on both sides of this stoppage. McAvoy and Kane. Neither will give an inch. And Bowers will come in and almost wrap them both up. Egan extracted the football towards Stevens at half forward. And once again, important. Creating a link across that half-forward line, connecting the midfield with the forwards. She delivers inside 50. G couldn't quite get to the contest. Pew did well with the defensive fist. Ebony Antonio wrapped up by G and Vessio. Quick release to Stannett. Good defensive fist from Plain as the ball heads over and out, which is where we find Jack down on the boundary. Jace, there is a, quite a breeze here now, but no surprise it is favouring the legend stand all but two scoring shots from there today. Thanks for the update, Jack. To the front of the contest. McAvoy shoved out of the way. Egan tried to find her. The handball's a little ferocious. Duffy put her head down. Tried to sneak under the plane tackle. It comes back to plane. She'll drive it inside 50. Dockers have got a couple of numbers here. Cuthbertson will keep it alive. O'Day tried to smother. Hoists it high. McAvoy goes back against Strom. Well read by Duffy. Clever kick to try and keep it alive. Downey happy to take it towards the boundary line and it's smothered off her hands by Cara Antonio. So a better three or four minutes from Carlton to just stabilise the situation, Beck. Pressure's really lifted here. Both sides hot on it. Fairly physically aggressive. Three minutes remaining in the half. Over the back of the contest, Bowers with Prasparkas for company. Somehow they all went over and Bowers still emerged with the ball. Moody tried to get it to Prasparkas. Bowers read it. Can Grieve extract it? No, she can't. Prasparkas on the bottom of that once again. Fremantle's so good at those spillages. It's a key element of the game, and Carlton, to their credit, have done a pretty good job at negating that so far. Here's a spillage. Who will win this one? Presparkus will. Bowles will get there just a step too late. G will force a contest. Antonio to tidy it up under pressure from Hosking. Affected the kick, and Walker will mark. Thinks about the option inboard to G. The kick's got to be good. She had to stand and wait. She did, and almost was off. In a way, she was fortunate she lost her footing. She couldn't run over the mark. 
I think that would have been her plan if the foot hadn't slipped. She would have been off. And she would have run straight into the tackler. <laughs> Moody, again for distance. Harris in a contest with Cuthbertson. Bouncing ball back towards the wing for Walker. Bowers, again the tackle pressure affected the kick. Hosking tracks it towards the line. She's got strong right on her hammer. Over and out for a throw in with one minute 42 left in the first half. So it's one behind for the Blues this term. Two goals, two for the Dockers. As they've worked their way back into the contest. Moody to McAvoy. Socket off the ground by Grieve. Pound can feed it back to Harrington. Bowers and Presparkas. Presparkas just got a hand in, so did Kane. McKay can use Hosking, but missed. The umpire read it, said it was touched off her hand, so it'll be a throw in. Moody at the front down to McAvoy. There's McKay. Good strong work in there from Haley Miller. Just tried to rip it out and in the process got herself a free kick. Advantage will be paid. Chance for the Dockers to play on advantage once again. Ball inside 50. Vessio's pushed back to provide some defensive support. Late in the term. It slapped away from Harrington. Vessio's got the ball. She's on the bottom of that pack and that collapses on top of her. And it'll be a Carlton free kick. So Darcy Vessio pushing back. There's an extra body late in the quarter. Harrington called to go. Manages to get around O'Sullivan. 40 seconds remaining in the term, and once again the Dockers will have another chance. Cuthbertson, they turn and go once more. Clearly a plan in this second quarter, and it's worked for them. Pound will cut it off. 30 seconds left to the Blues attack. What do they just keep their powder dry? Looks like they're going to attack. They've got a three on one out here if it sits for them. They can flip it over the top. Wilson can give it to Brazali. Back to Wilson. Dockers get numbers back to try and cover. Brazali can go off the deck. Awkward bounce. Real tough one for Sargent. Stevens comes through. 10 seconds left. Brazali keeps it going. It's a Carlton free kick. Six seconds remaining. Blues need a long kick inside. 50 to mark. Harris stands at 55. Clock's going to beat them. Stevens will go short to Brazali. And this game is beautifully poised at the half. The Dockers answering the challenge in the second term. They added two goals, two to Carlton's one behind to reduce a 21-point quarter-time deficit to just eight points at the half. Frio, three, uh, Carlton, 3-5-23. Frio, 2-3-15. But a much better term, that one, from the Fremantle Dockers, Beck.